In this video, we'll be determining the point, or points, where the graph of a function has a horizontal tangent line. Determine the point or points, if any, at which the graph of each function has a horizontal tangent line. Now before we begin, make note that the slope of a line tangent to a function is the derivative of the function. And if a line is horizontal, its slope is zero. Therefore, we need to determine the point or points where the derivative is equal to zero. Our function is y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. So in order to find the points at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line, we need to first find the derivative. And then set that derivative equal to 0. So by finding the derivative, we're finding the equation of the slope. And then by setting that equation equal to 0, we're stating that the slope of this line is 0. So let's solve for x. So when x is equal to negative 1, our tangent line has a slope of 0. Now we need a point, which means we need to find the y that goes along with this x. When x equals negative 1, y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. So y is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3. y is equal to negative 4. So our point is negative 1, negative 4. Our next example, again, this is our function. We need the derivative. Then we need to set that derivative equal to 0. So when we square root both sides, we're getting an imaginary number. Since our function is graphed on the real coordinate plane, uh, this means that uh, there are no horizontal tangent lines. Our last example, our function is y equals 1 half x minus cosine x. So we need the derivative. The derivative of cosine is a negative sine. So our derivative now we have to set equal to 0. We solve, subtract 1 half from both sides. Right. Sine is negative in the bottom two quadrants. Sine is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 1 over 2. 
this is our angle. So x then is, uh, we can see that this is uh, pi over 6. So this angle then will be 7 pi over 6. And then this all the way around to here will be 11 pi over 6. Now we have two x values, which means we need to find the two y values to go along with those when x equals 7 pi over 6, y equals 1 half of 7 pi over 6 minus the cosine of 7 pi over 6. So y is 7 twelfths pi minus, and the cosine of 7 pi over 6 is the negative root 3 over 2. Because this would be a negative root 3. So one of our points then will be 7 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 12 plus root 3 over 2. And then when x is 11 pi over 6, y is 1 half of 11 pi over 6 minus cosine 11 pi over 6. So y is 11 pi over 12 minus, and the cosine here is root 3 over 2. So my other point is 11 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 12 minus root 3 over 2.